Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the Week, what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today we will be checking Web API Benchmarking Java Vertex vs Rust Actix Web Part 3. So first of all, let me yeah, enable me. Okay. And now let's get into the video. Uh, the last video, part two, uh, received a lot of feedback in uh, Reddit and I also received a lot of uh, pull requests, as you can see here, uh, regarding the performance of Java, etc. And we will um, we will focus our attention on this pull request, which is, uh, let's say, the one pull request that uh, uh, includes all the optimizations that were provided by Shimuramoto. Uh, and we thank him for, for, for this. Uh, we had a little exchange with him regarding if you check the PRs. Uh, I say that I don't want to benchmark super optimized code that would uh, that would not be written in a production context because if you check the PR he provided some custom serialization etc. And this is another friend that uh, uh, was included in the conversation and commented on the PRs, Georgios Andrianakis, he's a fellow Greek uh, developer. Uh, so, in my mind, the code included in this uh, pull request uh, is super optimized. Shimuramoto, if I pronounce, Shimuramoto said that uh, yeah, it's code that can be found in production code. So I will go with his words, and we will benchmark it and see how it goes. So one benchmark that we will execute is this, the, the uh, pull request number four. But before we do that, I also want to check another thing, which is this. It's in the first pull request. And it was provided uh, by uh, Geoant, by Georgios, by George. And he uh, told us that we could use the JSON encode to buffer instead of JSON encode. So the first thing that we will benchmark is this, and then we will benchmark uh, pull request 4. I also created this uh, spreadsheet with all uh, the data, so that we have it all uh, in one place and we can compare them. I also updated my Java version, as you can see, from 11, which was the default for Debian, to 17, which is the newest included in the repositories. So this is what we will be using for the benchmarking. So let's start with this change first, the JSON encode to JSON encode to buffer. Let's come here. And if you see, I am on the master branch, and this is what we will test. And if you check the change, this is all that I changed. I use encode to buffer, and this is what we will benchmark. So let me start. Uh, mm -mm. Let's start the API. Okay, okay we have all the, the threads. Let's check here if it's working. It is working. So we are ready to start benching. So let's start with uh, OHA, our usual command. We are executing 1 million requests, as you can see. So system, excellent. Let's see. Java memory 1.5. Let me put the stats here myself, 1.5 memory, 1.5 gigabit, uh, 
Okay, the resources are quite good. The first thing that I see is that uh, the memory is a lot bigger, a lot more. We use a lot of memory compared to the previous video, which was the baseline, where we used 1.01 gigabytes, and now we are using 1.5 gigabytes with this uh, change. But let's get uh, the rest of the stats too. Let me get all of it first of all. Copy. Okay, and let me start adding to the Excel spreadsheet. So we have total seconds. Sorry. Copy. Sixty-eight. It is better. I will show you the stats for now. I am copying and pasting requests per second. Okay, average request time, this one, copy, uh, what else, size per second, no sorry, I was wrong, I will tell you about the memory, I was wrong, size per second, 133 gigabytes, Okay, this is for now. This is it. I will have all these in the description of the video, but for now, let's check our differences. Uh, the total time with this change was cut down from 89.7 seconds to 68 seconds, which is quite good. Uh, Rust still outperforms this change. Uh, request per second also we have an improvement here you see 14,000.5 whereas we have 11,000.1 Rust still outperforms this Average request time better as you can see We saved off about 3 2 point something uh, milliseconds Rust still better the size uh, of the request, the size per second is better, 1.33 compared to 1.01. And the memory is better, so this is what I was wrong, I was checking this uh, stat instead of this. So we also have reduced memory usage by 200 megabytes approximately. So this change seems that offered us um, improvements. Of course, we are also using a different uh, Java version. But yeah, I will not go into testing with the old Java, etc. We will continue with this for our benchmarks. We don't care for this version of Java. Uh, so yeah, this change got us some uh, good improvements they were welcome so let's go to wrk and test the wrk stuff too so let me put this here and let's prepare this and also come to the system monitor and let's start executing So we have 1.9 gigabytes of memory, 1.9, which is good, which is better than the previous time, quite good utilization as you can see, and we are done. So let's get these uh, results and we will say that requests per second is this one for WRK. Copy. Oh, re 
requests per second is this one requests in 30 seconds is this one copy uh, transfer per second is this one copy and memory okay and I will also copy all this and have it in my overall stats excellent and now let me share the differences so we're talking about WRK now we have request per second 19,000.4 so we have a very big improvement as you can see compared to 13.9 thousand and we also outperform Rust in this specific metric which is impressive Rust 17,000.7 uh, .7 and uh, Java 19,000.4 very nice requests in 30 seconds uh, 42, uh, 4, 420630 585.709 so we have a very big improvement here and we outperform Rust 2, which is very good, very nice. Uh, transfer per second, we have an improvement compared to the first uh, version of the code, to the baseline. And we are matching Rust's transfer per second. And we also have an improvement in memory, 1.9 gigabytes compared to 2 gigabytes. Uh, and Rust uses 143 megabyte. But the performance is getting up to par and even better uh, with WRK to the Rust code base, which is very nice. Very good. I am impressed, I would say. Okay, so now we have to test the PR4. Let's come here and let me kill this. And if you see, I will have the PR4 code here ready. PR4, so we are ready. Uh, we will run the code with a different command according to the instructions that we are provided. You will see the command here. This is the command. We will uh, build and then we will run with Java and all these flags that were provided uh, in the PR. So let's run and see if everything runs build success okay the server started let's see if everything works correctly it seems that it does we have no errors okay so we are ready to bench and we will come here and we will say that we want this is the OHA command, so we will rebench with OHA. System monitor, nice. Let's start. Java. We have a huge improvement in memory, as you can see. Let me. Uh, 358. 359, 359 megabytes, 360, which is a huge improvement. The utilization is excellent. The memory users is, is excellent. So let's wait for the results. We have our results. Let's see. 49 seconds. Copy. Forty nine seconds. Uh, average requests per second. This is what we want. 
copy. Excellent. Average request time. This is the average. Copy. Uh, what else? Size per second. Size per second. Copy. Excellent. Uh, let me get all of this. This is PR4. Copy. PR4. Okay, let's compare up until now and see what we have. Uh, PR4. 49.9 seconds for OHA from the baseline which was 89 so we have 40 seconds difference it is also outperforming this simple change and it is also outperforming rust which is very very nice this is excellent stuff requests per second we have 20,000 requests and this came up from 11,000 requests and 14.5,000 requests that was executed with this uh, change. So we have an improvement here and we also outperform Rust, which is excellent. The average request time per second, it also came down from 009 and 0068 to 005. And we outperform Rust for um, four milliseconds, or whatever this measurement is. Uh, size per second 182 from 133 from from 101, and we all uh, almost match Rust here. Rust outperforms, but this is a very close call. And the memory we got it down from 1.7 gigabytes to 1.5 gigabytes to 360 megabytes which is a huge uh, uh, improvement as you can understand so very impressive numbers for Java uh, Vertex and the PR4 so let's get into the WRK stuff let me get my WRK command. Uh, basically, we, we have it. Uh, this is the WRK. Yeah, for 30 seconds. Let me get my system monitor. Okay. Executing. Let's see. We want the memory first of all, which is 378. Uh, 380 382 383 the CPU utilization 384 is excellent excellent 386 386 386 MIB excellent Let's get this, the rest of the stuff. Requests per second. This is the number we are looking for. Excellent. Request in 30 seconds. Copy. Uh, mm, transfer per second. This one. Okay, we have everything. Let me get this two copy. Let me store it here. And let us compare the WRK stuff. So requests per second. We are up to 20 29.4 thousand per second from 13.9 thousand per second. Uh, and this is the previous code change 19,000.5 so we 
got uh, 10,000 requests more per second with the PR4 from this change and we are hugely outperforming Rust which is very very nice excellent stuff requests in 30 seconds we started with uh, 420,000 requests we went up to 585,000 requests and we're now to 825,000 requests per second so we have almost doubled our requests per second in, in 30 seconds sorry we have doubled our uh, requests in 30 seconds and we are hugely uh, outperforming uh, both the previous version of the code with a simple change and Rust as you can see excellent also the transfer per second, the data transfer per second has uh, gone up to 2.68 gigabytes uh, and we are outperforming all the other versions of the code and Rust 2 and the memory we are outperforming the, the baseline of the code and the simple change with JSON buffer uh, but we are not outperforming Rust, as you can see. But the change is huge, as you can see. So, what is the conclusion of all this? The conclusion is what? Let's change our tab. Okay. The conclusion is that uh, Java Vertex uh, is doing a very good job, a very good job. I am very impressed. But the only thing that we have to determine is if this PR provides code that is usually written in production uh, code bases. As I said, uh, there are some custom serializations here. You can check them yourselves, etc., etc. Um, now, the overall the overall conclusion uh, to me is that uh, it seems that Java has a lot of potential. Uh, there is no reason, of course, to change your language if it serves your purpose without even considering these uh, benchmarks, of course. Uh, as I have said uh, times and again, these uh, videos and these benchmarks are not endorsing changing your language if there is no valid reason to do so. And especially if we come to Java, you see that it has a lot of potential if we optimize the code. And again, I say I don't know if this is super optimized code or if it is regular uh, code that you can find in many code bases. But it seems that we can squeeze a lot of um, a lot of power uh, from Java. And so it's all good to continue using Java and maybe optimize the code base if we have some bottlenecks. Overall, I was very impressed with the performance of uh, the Java uh, language and Vertex. Uh, I also thanks, thank a lot uh, Shimuramoto for the code he provided and his insights. Uh, plus I want to comment on the um, Vertex, let's say, documentation. The very initial video that I created with Vertex, which was very disappointing, uh, was a standard um, let's say application, a standard example taken from their docs. It seems that uh, maybe it was not uh, multi-threaded at all, as you can understand. So maybe one thing to for the Java, let's say, Vertex community is to improve their docs and provide a better example 
for uh, you know a hello world program at least make it uh, multi-threaded etc uh, i don't really remember if the encoding stuff was in their example I, i'm not sure i don't remember maybe it is not because it is a workflow that i created for benchmarking but overall the the example they provide out of the box was not efficient i think i'm not trying to bash uh, the vertex framework i'm just pinpointing some problems that may exist so that they can uh, fix them and have a better overall experience with Java and Vertex out of the box. This is what I'm trying to do. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. Uh, I will uh, uh, try to share this video to the Reddit uh, Java community again and uh, let's see what the, the, feedback, the feedback will be. Thank you for watching and going with me through this video. Another thing is this benchmark data spreadsheet. I don't know how I can share it, but I think that uh, through the comments we will find a way to share it. Yeah, so this is all the information that I wanted to share. Thank you for watching and have a great day.